like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. Oh. Gravy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I can make it really wrong. Mushed. It's mushed. Yeah. Ain't it mushed? <laughs> Mushed potatoes, yes. That must be it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> 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 It's mashed potatoes that are good with gravy. <laughs> okay, then. So we're going to write down as the answer. Um, mashed. God, this girl is fucking stupid. Damn it. Wish was the wrong answer. I let poor Shizuka chant down. Look that he's so sad about it. I wrote it down. Uh. Good for you. We shared some with the last movie we saw. Hmm. I ain't been to a theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. I have to agree. You literally just ate it and you don't remember. Comes in different sizes, huh? Hot dogs! <laughs> it must be hot dogs! Hot dog! Hot dog! dog. <laughs> Ain't it hot dogs? <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, what? <laughs> hot dogs are great, even outside the movies. Now I kind of want one, actually. Uh. Best part about them is that you don't need utensils to eat them, and that's perfect for a theater. Yep, it's hot dogs. No mistake about it. <laughs> Go ahead and mark the squares. <laughs> H-O-T-T-O-G-S. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, um, a hot dog. That's wrong. <laughs> it's totally off. Hot dogs aren't a snack. I guess it depends. <laughs> How big are they? Popcorn. <laughs> Did you really forget? It's kind of a boring movie, so I fell asleep. I don't remember very well. You're at a ten. Let's take it down to a five. <laughs> Not dog. <laughs> you go to a movie, you get yourself some popcorn these days, huh? Sounds fun. I wrote it down. <laughs> Bring on the next clue. The next clue is a phone with a carrying strap that we can take in anywhere is sometimes called a blank phone. They really make phones you can put in bags or on your shoulder now? Word that's eight letters long. Didn't I see that called a bag fall somewhere? 
Bag phone literally is eight letters. It's obviously a high tech phone. Yeah. Ain't it high tech phone? <laughs> high tech phone! I see! That's a cool name. It sounds so futuristic. Uh, what? Imagine having a phone you could carry around on a strap. High tech phone really fits huh. it. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe carrying a phone by a strap is just the beginning, right? And it's eight letters long, so I think we've got it. I think we've got this yeah. in the bag. Get that one on paper, Suzuki <laughs> High tech. <laughs> I love how fucking sure he is every time at the end. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's in the eighties. <sighs> so you're saying it's not high tech? It's shoulder. So that means just right shoulder into blind squares. You're way too intense. But okay. Shoulder phone, bag phone. Why two names? I wrote it down. On to the next one. We're almost done. The next one's the last clue. Then let's do this. Okay. I'll read the last clue. called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face? The hell is that? Now I'm screwed. Must be two words. There's room for eight letters in all. Oh, that sounds very possible. If a soft face describes a face that's rugged and foreign, then this would be softer. Like, I don't even know what's funny here. See ya. In a toy sauce? <laughs> it should be soy sauce <laughs> face? Oh, that's right. I didn't even... I'm like, I don't even know. This all looks stupid to me. I wrote it down. That woman nodding in the background, though. And then, like, putting her fingers in her face. Nod, nod, finger in the lips. What is she doing? Yay. It's all done. It says, let's blank. I guess the blank is the word you gotta guess from the letter circled on the puzzle. So it's five letters. M and A from popcorn. I got the letter R. Another R. Letter Y. Let's marry. Oh. I made it too hard because you're stupid and you don't know what mashed potatoes are. And you also can't remember what we just ate. 